Hey guys, Bill coming back at you again with another video. Today we're going to be filming mostly outside. Uh, we're going to get that freak show into the ground. Okay guys, so I've been bringing the freak show out and also the auto flower blue cheese out every day for the last week acclimating them to the to the sun basically we want to get them used to the sun's rays before we go and just plunge them right outdoors i apologize now for the cars going by i'm pretty close to the road here uh so nothing really i can do about that but as i said uh, i've been bringing them out every day even though for the most of the week it's been pretty cloudy and rainy and just pretty gross around here uh, today is nice and beautiful. I think it's good enough. I think they're acclimated enough that I'm going to leave them right outside now. Let's take a look at them. Okay, so there they are. Let's come around here. Uh, first off, let's just take a look. We have the, uh, these are the blue cheese auto flowers. They're doing really good in their new pots. Uh, now these pots are full of kryptonite organic living soil. Uh, so they should only need water right up until harvest time so that's good I'm, I'm fine with that because now I can just get my garden hose which I haven't even hooked up yet uh, I could get that hooked up and then I can just water them uh, when needed now I have them just right now I have them on this table that I keep outside for uh, doing work on and stuff and uh, it's just beside my shed and this area gets sun for for most of the day so the sun comes up over this side comes around and goes to bed over here now we do have a little bit of a fence here which will block just a little bit but as long as they're on the table uh, they should get sun pretty much all day when it's sunny out that is now as I was saying it was pretty cloudy and rainy and, and dark for most of the week so how can they be acclimated by now well they've had a few days of Sun but for the most part it's been cloudy but even though it's cloudy the Sun's UV rays will still come through them clouds so uh, even though it may not be super bright and sunny like it is today they're still getting used to the UVA and UV UVB rays that the Sun puts out so uh, I think they're probably ready to go uh, they've been growing really well so they've grown quite a bit now we just transplanted these into these pots last week uh, didn't slow them down a bit I was wondering where the soil uh, I thought maybe it may be just a little bit too hot because it's quite rich in nutrients but didn't slow them down a bit they uh, they took to it like a fish in water these were not very big seedlings when I put them out here so uh, I think they should do pretty good so I think what I'm gonna do once I move this uh, freak show and get her into the ground I'm just gonna leave these on the table for now uh, if they get uh, if they get too big then we'll have to reassess the situation but uh, I think they're going to be fine for here for at least a little while. Now, if for some reason we do happen to have a big storm come in or something like that, then uh, I do still have my greenhouse up, my, uh, my cheap plastic Amazon greenhouse. And uh, I can still throw them in there if I need to. But for the most part, I think they're going to stay right here on this table. Okay, so let's take a look at this freak show. And here she is. Now, she's not, she's not super big. She's not very tall. She's quite bushy, but she's not very tall. And uh, that's just the way she's grown up. I haven't done any training to her at all. Cleaned off just a little bit underneath. I may have to do that again once she gets into the ground. Uh, we'll see how she grows. But I'll show you what I'm gonna be planting her in. Jazz, come here. So now hopefully Jazz, my doggy, will leave it alone. I had, uh, I had this pot setting out just up here, uh, getting it prepped, and I left it out there for the day, and as you can see, she decided she wanted to gnaw on it a little bit, rip the handle, and she, I had this full of soil, and it was all over the yard, but uh, I had a little talking to her and let her know this was daddy's, not hers, so hopefully she'll cooperate. I'm sure she will. She's pretty smart. But... This here is a 25 gallon fabric pot. Why am I putting it in a pot instead of just in the ground? Well, last year I had a couple outside photo periods, the cafe racers, they were right back here. And uh, the soil's not too bad back there, but as you can see right now, and it's only three o'clock, uh, they were still getting quite a bit of shade from that fence and also blocking a little bit of the airflow from the back. So I decided I wanted to pull it out to here now this is pretty decent soil here as well 
until you get down to about a foot and then I have a lot of uh, red clay so what I decided to do was just to dig it down about eight inches or so and then I filled it with some uh, I used some of the leftover soil that was in the sea of green pot that I used inside a few grows back um, you can see there's still a bunch of those ceramic clay balls in there uh, that won't hurt anything so I use that and also a bag of kryptonite mix those two together now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take her out of the five gallon pot that she's in right now I'll plant her into this pot and then for any other soil that I need I will be adding more uh, this is my last bag of kryptonite organic living soil now this is really good soil it's got everything you need all the nutrients so I shouldn't have to add anything to the pot uh, throughout her grow. I will see during flower. I may add a little bit of dry amendments at the end But uh, I really don't think we're gonna need much if any at all So that's what I'm gonna be doing now. So by doing that uh, I'm leaving it about a foot above the uh, the ground level so that it's not gonna grow a foot down and hit that clay level uh, It should have all good soil 25 gallons worth of soil, which is should produce a pretty good sized plant for the length of the grow season that we have here and plus it should be a little bit easier to water as well because I'll just water inside of the pot and I know that all that water is get going down into the soil where the roots are instead of spreading out throughout the ground so uh, I think this is the way to do it also one other thing uh, we have a quite a short grow season here um, Harvest is usually around the middle to the end of October. I harvested my Cafe racers last year. It was the middle of October and they could have stayed in for another week at least But I was starting to get some mold issues and mildew issues and uh, Decided to take them down. They were fine. They were beautiful But if something happens with the weather here and it starts getting really cold super early or If I start seeing mold issues or anything if I happen to have room in the in the house then i can just grab this bag rip it out of the ground and put it inside for the last week or so just to help finish it up uh, hopefully i won't have to do that but this leaves me the option to do that if i need to so what i'm going to do guys i'm going to put you guys up on the tripod uh, i'm going to have to cut this pot off which i hate to do these are the mogok brand pots uh, great for lst and uh, i really want to be able to reuse these pots and i could probably get it off without cutting it but just to save time and to make it easier i'm just going to cut the pot off so up on the tripod we go okay so let's grab the uh, freak show here let's see if we got enough soil to start with i think that should be fine just have to make sure we pack in all the way around the plant here look out jess Oof. Good girl. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and cut the pot all the way down. I know you can't see this. I apologize. Now I'm going to grab it by the stalk down here. Pretty good strong plant. Uh, how old is she now? She's got to be... I don't even remember how old she is now. She's, she stuck it out pretty good when she was a seedling. So I'll have to put the weeks of veg up here on the screen because I can't recall right now. So I'm just going to peel this down here now and we'll lift her up and she should There's not a lot of room underneath here to grab a hold of it. So we'll just pull it up sideways here and peel it off and then we'll grab it from the other side. Lots of roots there. Nice solid root ball there. Got roots all over here. So they should extend out and really enjoy this extra uh, extra six inches on either side or more. So there we go. So now we're gonna take our kryptonite and we're gonna fill in around the edges. And we'll break it up a little bit so it's not clumped. in on this side here Okay, 
Now, if anybody's interested in the uh, kryptonite organic soil, uh, I believe it's still only available in Canada. So uh, they actually make it not too far away from me. But I'll leave I'll leave a link in the description, and uh, you can you can go there and check them out. Okay, so we got that almost full. Now I didn't think there'd be quite enough there. So I do have this. This is a mixture of the stuff that was, this is a mixture of the stuff that was in the sea of green as well. There's also kryptonite mixed with this. So I'm just gonna use this just around the top, just to, just as a filler to fill that up. There we go. I think that looks pretty good. All this soil is already pretty damp because it rained pretty hard there yesterday. So, but I do think after the video, I will grab my watering can there and uh, just give it a little bit around the edge of where the uh, where the root ball is, just to make sure there's no big gaps. Okay, guys. So we got her in. Uh, she looks pretty good there. Pretty good level of soil. Now, if that does uh, compress a little bit, I still have some of the other top soil there that I can fill it back up with. So no worries on that. And we have the autoflower blue cheese spread out there a little bit better now. Uh, so it can have some room, lots of good airflow. Hopefully they produce well. Now I have one left of the autoflower blue cheese inside because I'm only allowed to have four outside. So I'm really curious to see how these are gonna do compared to the one that I'm gonna grow inside. I decided I'm just gonna grow it out. Obviously it's not gonna be a true comparison because they're from seed and definitely could be different phenotypes in all four of these so i'm just kind of curious to see the difference now speaking of that why don't we go inside we'll take a look at that one and we'll also take a look at the freak show clones and see how they're making out okay guys so here's the uh the four freak shows uh doing pretty good now these ones took just a little bit more to get used to this uh kryptonite grow soil but they seem to be taking off pretty decent now i'm going to give them another week here and then i'll take off some of those bottom leaves the the yellowing leaves from the original clone. So we have the two in the seven gallons and we have two in the three gallons in the front. Now I have the ones on the in the three gallons. I have them up on a piece of uh, styrofoam just to bring them up to the same height as the seven gallon ones because I want to keep this as close to uh, the same parameters as as I can just to see the difference between growing in the three gallons and also in the seven gallons. The common theory on this is bigger pots are better, bigger roots, bigger fruits, right? So let's find out. Uh, we'll see how the three gallons do and compare it to the seven gallons. Now here's also the, the last blue cheese auto flower. Uh, she's doing very good as well. They're all pretty much identical and we're gonna leave this one growing here as long as we have room. Now these are growing under the Mars Hydro FCE 3000. Uh, perfect light for this three by three tent. Now the other blue cheese auto flowers, they were in here as well. So they got their start on the Mars Hydro FCE 3000. I started this out at close to three feet and have just slowly put it down now it's at about two feet two feet above the uh, canopy there at a hundred percent i kept it a hundred percent the whole time uh, just lowered it down a little bit now that it's at two feet i'm just going to leave it there let the plants kind of grow up into it and watch the plants and uh, determine how high to put it by the reaction of the plants themselves i find that's much easier to do than try to chase it every day measure it up and then move it an inch or two inches down and then once they start taking off you're moving it an inch up and 
every couple of days or whatever. Uh, I'm just going to leave it right at the two foot mark. Just going to let the plants grow up into it now. Raise it when needed. Now this is only a three by three, so I don't think all of these will actually uh, be staying in this tent. But whatever happens to one of the freak shows, whether we move it to the eight by eight or into the two and a half by five, uh, whatever I do to one, I'm doing to all four. Everything's going to be the same with these guys. Okay, guys, there we have it. We have an update on the Autoflower Blue Cheese. We got the Freak Show in her new pot and took a look at the Freak Shows in the three gallons and the seven gallon pots inside. So there's a lot going on here. Um, be sure to come back next week. Uh, we'll take a look at all this again. We also got to check out the uh, Super Lemon Haze Autoflowers and also the star killer and sunset sherbert photo periods in the 8x8 and see how they're doing they're over halfway into flower now so uh, come back next week and we'll do an update on those too okay guys thanks for watching like share subscribe leave a comment down below and we'll see you on the next one happy growing